nation stood at the crossroads, cramped for space, hurting for raw materials, dedicated to education. Committed to hard work, loyal to the emperor, eyed a world out there to be conquered, made an all-out effort to win that world, and lost. Or did they? To keep from annihilation by starvation, they surrendered. They won by submission, complied with conquerors' demands, won the hearts of people everywhere, won the right to rebuild, and build they did. Then they excelled, they marketed, and the nation that once stood in isolation now finds itself totally dependent on trade with the world once excluded. In the midst of success, is the spirit free? They turn to the gods and go away empty. Climbing the ladder of success separates families. Mama raises the children while Papa works. He's married to the company. He's stranger to his children. He drinks with his peers, but doesn't go home. A mistress nearby, now two homes to support. And day follows day with heavy heart. Has he won or lost? About the time of the world's great depression, a man stood at the crossroads, David T. Stada, a student of law, success within reach, but God turned him around. My son, you must preach my word. Imprisoned for doing it. Is Christ divine or the emperor? One truth kept him sane. Emmanuel, God with us. He was not alone in the cell. The war is over. Released. In the ashes of a bombed out city, he established a church with eight people. Today, Emmanuel General Mission boasts 12,000 members, 250 pastors, 114 churches, has missionaries in six countries, Wesleyan World Missions affiliated in 1952. For 34 years, Harold and Edna Johnson taught English and music in Emmanuel Bible Training College evangelized in the churches, on the streets, in recent years saw seekers in almost every service. Today, Barry Ross, PhD, Old Testament scholar, teaches in the Bible College, trains workers, conducts seminars, preaches in the pulpits. His wife, Margaret, holds degrees in home economics and food management, teaches cooking classes, practices hospitality with the purpose of leading women to Christ, sees several baptized as fruit of her one-on-one -on -one ministry. Once more, Japan is at a crossroad. Out of 120 million Japanese, how many are Christians? If 100 people marched in front of you now, one out of 100 may say, Jesus is my Savior. 
Less than one half of one percent are committed Christians. A Japanese proverb says, win by losing. A nation may appear to be winning economically, but are they spiritually? There's a vacuum of the soul that education has not satisfied. Material prosperity has not filled. It is reserved for Christ, but they do not know that. What can you do about it? Keep your missionaries on the field by giving. Knowing the need, are we happy purchasing everything available to us? Or making investments in spreading the good news. Keep Westlands in Japan by praying for your missionaries' personal, spiritual lives, language facility, influence. Create for your children awareness of God's plan for missions through Westland World Magazine and books. Correspond with missionaries. Mention them at family prayers and bedtime. As God calls you, make yourself available for short-term or full-time service. Jesus said, whoever finds his life will lose it, and whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Dr. Stada lost himself in God's will. You too can win by losing.